What determines whether you need a crown or a filling on your tooth? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about crowns versus fillings. I'm super aware that most patients notice a big price difference when comparing crowns versus fillings, but there are reasons why crowns are so much more expensive than fillings, so let's talk. A dental filling is what your dentist places on your tooth after they remove tooth decay, aka a cavity from your tooth. The filling reinforces the tooth so you don't just have a hole where the cavity once was. So what happens is a cavity, which is a bacterial infection, decays your tooth and the filling fills up the cavitation, the hole that's created after the dentist removes the bacterial infected decay from your tooth. Now, if you have a cavity that has eaten through your enamel, the outer layer of your tooth, and it has reached the next layer, the dentin layer of your tooth, that's when a filling is recommended to save your tooth from further damage. Okay, so we got it, we know what a filling is. Now, where does a crown come in? Usually a crown is necessary for one of three reasons. One being, if you leave a cavity on a tooth for too long without getting a filling, it will continue to eat away at your tooth. So when the tooth decay grows and it gets too big, oftentimes there is no longer enough tooth surface left to successfully place a filling. Too much tooth surface has been eroded. There's not enough tooth for a filling to attach. So to protect a weak tooth, a super decayed tooth, to protect it from breaking, a crown is often the better option to restore your tooth so it will last. Another reason you might need a crown is because too, you just had a root canal. Again, if tooth decay and the dentin is left untreated for too long, the cavity will get deeper and deeper and reach the nerve of your tooth, the innermost layer of the tooth, the pulp. This is when you are more likely to start feeling pain and you would need a root canal to properly save your tooth, which is generally always followed by a crown, at least on your back teeth, your molars and premolars. Because again, with a crown, you want to protect a weak tooth from breaking. And three, the last reason you might need a crown is because your tooth broke. Sometimes the tooth can crack, fracture, whatever you want to call it. It can no longer be patched together with a filling because it's falling apart, usually due to some type of trauma and to glue it back together with a filling after a fracture doesn't usually work depending on the location of the fracture. So oftentimes a crown will be necessary in fracture type situations. And I can go on and on about the location of tooth fractures. We can talk all day about if the fracture were to happen on the root of your tooth, then it might not even be salvageable at all. A crown would never be able to help if the fracture is on the root, things like that. But for the purpose of this video, fillings versus crowns, fillings are a straightforward procedure, all done in office all the dental material needed is right next to you on the tray. Crowns are much more involved. Sometimes they need to be sent out to a lab to be made, or sometimes your dentist will make them in office, whatever the case, there's a lot more material used, more prep involved, things like that. I will link my crown animation video if you'd like to see what to expect during a crown appointment, as well as my what to expect during a filling appointment. So I hope this makes sense why a crown is a lot more expensive than a filling. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want to learn more about the cost of each procedure, I will link my fillings and crown articles from my website, teethtalkgirl.com, in the description. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.